Hi, everyone. I'm taking a look at a final passage that as of July 9th, 2021, is our page 51. So depending on when you watch this video, you may never have seen it before, or it's a different page in your packet, or it's still page 51. I want you to read the passage and read it actively. Don't underline it, don't highlight it. If you wanna make notes, do it on scrap paper. You should read it and answer the three questions that go with it in under five minutes. And I want you to consider trying to not reread sentences. So going into it, actively reading it and making sure that you maybe predict what questions might be, if that will help you stay more actively engaged as you read. Then when you're finished reading, you can think about, if not what the main idea might be, at least what the topic is of the passage. Then you can start looking at the questions, decide maybe is there one question that would be better to start with than the others, because maybe it'll force you to keep going back up to the passage a few times. It might be better than a general question about a title or a main idea. And then, I will give you a hint with these. There um, a few times, I guess maybe I, I could have changed the words because there can be a little bit of confusion with the terminology being used, but I'm going to leave it the way it is because this still is a good problem for forcing you to maybe use the process of elimination that where you might not be certain about a question because of its wording, if you're clear that the other answer choices are incorrect, you can then be more confident about the one that you chose to be the correct answer. Also, it's just, I, I know when I do test questions and re real test questions, there may be things that I'm not 100% confident about, but Again, process of elimination of the other choices makes me feel a little bit more comfortable with my choice. Go ahead and give this a try. I'll give you some time to pause your recording and then I'll come back with answers. Okay, so hopefully you got at least that it's about opera <laughs> and maybe you saw that there was a little bit of compare contrast with musical theater talking about differences between the role that the music and the lyrics and acting play in those two styles of entertainment, the opera and musical theater. And yeah, that's probably a good place to start with that. Let's take a look at the first question. It is pointed out in the reading that opera. Okay, before we look at the answer choices, we need to think about the fact that we should be able to find evidence in the passage for this. So we need to set aside any prior knowledge that we have about opera or musical theater or any of the other answer choices that are in here. We need to go by specifically what is in this passage. I would just start with the first one, see if there's anything that that we can easily eliminate. If not, we'll put a dot by it and keep going. So it is pointed out in the reading that opera has developed under the influence of musical theater. There is a, a section in here about musical theater. And I think what I'm gonna do is, is set this aside because musical theater is mentioned in here. But before we even look at A, let me see if there's anything else that might be a little quicker to eliminate. B. It's a drama sung with the accompaniment of an orchestra. Okay, well, it did talk about the opera having emotional content that is conveyed or, or gotten across through music, lyrics, and then, huh, what does that mean by by contrast? That to me is a one of those ding, 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 not just a ding, ding, ding word, but a set of words words by contrast, meaning we're about to see something that's the opposite. So it's saying here in musical theater, an actor's dramatic performance, which is just a fancy way of saying they're acting, is
is primary and music plays a lesser role by contrast. So um, I know that music is in here and some acting in there. Now, the drama then is the emotional content, the, the acting going on. It's sung with the accompaniment of an orchestra. It mentions having a, a full symphonic orchestra here. And oh, the last sentence, the singers are accompanied by a musical ensemble, ranging from a small instrumental ensemble to a full symphonic orchestra. So it's kind of general. What about if it's a small instrumental ensemble though? Will that still qualify for number two? I'm not sure. So I'm gonna put a dot because this seems possible, but I'm not 100% certain yet. Letter C, is it, and I'm gonna read the question each time, is it pointed out in the reading that opera is not a high budget production? I saw nothing in here at all about budget or money. So I'm gonna cross that one out that it's often performed in Europe. Okay, well, I search for the word Europe and I immediately find it in the first sentence, a big capital E just jumps out at you. It says that it originates in Europe. Well, that doesn't mean that it's often performed in Europe, just that it started there. So this could be one of those tricky ones where they're trying to have you thinking about Europe and influencing your answer. The D is not true. They don't have that in there. Letter E, that opera is the most complex of all the performing arts. So even if that might be a personal opinion, that was not spoken of in the passage. So letter E needs to be eliminated. We're down to A, has developed under the influence of musical theater, and B, it's a drama song with the accompaniment of an orchestra. Now, we went through a little bit more with the musical theater where I did the by contrast, musical theater and actor's dramatic performance is primary, music plays a lesser role. That's just contrasting the two. It's not saying one influenced the other. Uh, let's keep going. The drama and opera is presented using the primary elements of theater. So musical theater, such as scenery, costumes, and acting. However, ooh, there's another ding, ding, ding word. So here's something they had in common. And then, however, the words of the opera or libretto are sung rather than spoken. So there's another contrast. And then it talks again about the musical ensemble. I see nothing in there about it developing under the influence of it. So I think we're left with letter B. And we just have to accept the fact that when they say accompaniment, they are referring to any sort of musical group. That it could just be a few people up to a full symphony. Letter B as in boy will be correct for number one. For number two, we can understand from the reading that. So again, we're going to have to refer to the thing, but now I, I feel a little bit more like understanding it. This might be more of a logical conclusion. Let's see. People are captivated more by opera than musical theater. Captivated, they're being held captive, so they're they're enthralled by it. They're like, wow, I'm not seeing that at all in this passage. So we need to eliminate that choice. Drama in opera is more important than the music. Now, what do we have here? We did have drama and music talked about. For drama and music, we had the bit here at the top that the emotional content is conveyed through music and lyrics. That's not saying necessarily which is more important, but by contrast, if the actor's dramatic performance is primary, that means in musical theater, acting is most important, music is less important. That's for musical theater and it's by contrast. So with that idea, if it's by contrast, I'm thinking the music is more important than the acting for opera, the opposite of musical theater. Music is more important than acting for opera. What was our question answer choice? Acting is more important than the music? No. Music is more important than the drama. What we see here in letter B, that's more true for the musical theater. 
Letter C, orchestras and operas can ver vary considerably in size. Again, if we take into account that when they called it an orchestra up here, and it turned out it was referring to groups of all sizes playing the music, then I think letter C looks like a good choice. Letter D, musical theater relies above all on music. That means its primary thing, its most important thing is music. And we read that the actor's dramatic performance is primary. So letter D can be eliminated. Letter E, there's an argument over whether the music, I think I was supposed to put music is more important or the words in opera. So I'm gonna have to look at the original copy, but basically is the music more important than the words? Which one's more important? And it doesn't have any sort of argument in there at all. It just says, the words in an opera, the lyrics are the libretto, and the music is as important as. So we can eliminate E. That means C was the correct answer. And lastly, with number three, it is stated in the reading that, okay, hopefully we should find this pretty straightforward. Acting and costumes are secondary to music in musical theater. I did not see that stated in the passage. It said that opera has uh, costumes and scenery and stuff, but it said acting for musical theater was most important. The dramatic performance was primary. So A is incorrect. It's actually more acting is more important than music. Letter B, again, many people find musical theater more captivating than opera. That wasn't in there. There was nothing about who prefers what. There was no opinions in this piece. It was entirely expository, an expository piece. Letter C, music and musical theater is not as important as it is in opera. Okay, well, what do we read? The actor's dramatic performance is primary in musical theater music plays a lesser role. Okay, so music in musical theater is not as important as the acting. And that sentence started with by contrast. So that tells me the opposite is true for opera. Letter C is probably the correct answer. It's not as important in musical theater as it is in opera. Opera music is more important than acting. Musical theater, acting is more important than music at least according to this author. Letter D, an opera requires a huge orchestra as well as a large choir. No, it said it could be a small ensemble. So just a few people playing their instruments would be okay. And lastly, letter E, opera doesn't have any properties in common with musical theater. No, I mean, even if we didn't already know that that was false just from what we know about them in regular life, it tells us here that they have the scenery and costumes. There is some acting involved in both. So, and they have both have music. So of course there's things in common. However, we can once again say, there's nothing in here that says that the opera was influenced by musical theater. I still did not see that anywhere in here. So I still feel most comfortable with letter B for number one letter C for number two, and letter C for number three. Okay, I hope that helped to analyze the three parts to it. And there are more sample things at this website. This one's got some good short reading comprehension passages you can try. Thanks for watching. Email, email me if you have questions.